First, a quick administrative announcement. My account's been cloned. There are people sending out my picture and name asking you for money. Don't send them any money. Are most people damned? Mark 16, 16 says this. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Are most people damned? Yes. How do I know that? Because Jesus tells us at Matthew 7, 14, that only few will have eternal life. Let's cover some basics on this subject. Where is eternal life right now? According to 1 John 5, 11, it says, and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. So eternal life is in Jesus. Also, eternal life is a free gift. Look at Romans 6, 23. Well, how do you receive this free gift of eternal life? How do you receive Jesus? John 1, 12 will tell us. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. To receive the free gift of eternal life, you simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your eternal life, him alone, and nothing else. So why are most people damned? It's simple. Most people reject the free gift of eternal life. Most people are trying to work their way to heaven. They refuse to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Him alone, and nothing else for their eternal life. Their present, right now, eternal status is they are damned to hell. The only reason they're not in hell right now is because they are still alive. They're damned and they're also condemned. Listen to John 3, 18. He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Are you damned right now? Are you condemned? Well, all you have to do to have eternal life is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Him alone and nothing else, for your eternal life. For more information on that eternally important topic, please see video 152 pinned to the top of my page. I personally think the rapture is going to be soon. So I'm doing a series of three-minute videos on topics related directly on how to be saved. The next video will be, What is the Judgment Seat of Christ?